New information tonight. The University of South Alabama has announced action in the wake of racially charged photos of three professors being uncovered. NBC 15's Corey Pippen has the latest on what the school plans to do to make a campus more inclusive and accepting to everyone. Corey. Greg, Kim, students involved in recent rallies for change tell me the university's announcement is a good first step, but more needs to be done. The University of South Alabama says it's ready to take action. Nearly one week after a passionate student rally over photos taken of three South Alabama professors at an on-campus Halloween party in 2014. One of Bob Wood in a Confederate costume and another showing Teresa Weldy smiling as Alex Charlin holds a noose in front of her face. That's intolerance, bro. And you are tolerating it. You're saying we got to do due process, but there should be a policy in place. You do this, gone. In an email, USA President Dr. Tony Waldrop outlined his current plans, which include expanding the work of the university's Office of Diversity and Inclusion, requiring training for faculty and staff, and creating a new position in education and outreach. Dr. Waldrop says the university also intends to assign diversity coordinators in each college and school. Also planned is the formation of a committee by the end of March to review ideas submitted by students to strengthen campus diversity, inclusion, and equity. We went onto the campus today to see what students thought about the plan. People we spoke to declined to comment on camera, but say while they're glad the university is trying to correct the problems, they believe more action is needed. The Black Student Union agreed to an interview but backed out deciding to wait until after they meet with the university's administration tomorrow. Dr. Waldrop also says an outside attorney will investigate the photos and submit a report to the university's Equal Employment Opportunity Committee. Students are asked to continue submitting ideas to Dr. Paul Frazier or to Dr. Waldrop. Craig?